with the law of cause and effect, there's a basic underlying principle, and that is that if you do not, in some manner, deal with the cause, then the effect will always occur, and on top of that, the effect will never change. So it will always occur and it can never change. So what, what I find a lot of people trying to do with their life is they try to deal with the effects of what's going on in their life all the time. All right? And the problem with dealing with the effects is that you're just going to exacerbate the future effects. You're going to make everything in your life even more difficult than it is currently. And unfortunately for most of us, what we do is we'd prefer to do that for some reason. And I still haven't worked out why the human race <laughs> would prefer to do that. Sometimes it's because, you can see it's because there's this desire for immediate remedy. Immediate. Remedy. Remedy. Uh, of an effect. And... Uh, the problem is that's not even logical because you're not actually remedying anything. What you're actually doing is creating the potential for even more severe events to occur in the future because of the denial of the previous cause that was triggered by the law of attraction. So, so what you finish up doing is that when you try to cure the effect, whatever the effect is, and when I say cure, I'm not just using it in the, in, as a health term, but rather as a solution to an effect of something that's, that's painful or negative. When you try to cure an effect, the problem is, is that you don't actually deal with anything, really. Uh, you don't actually fix anything. And... In, in not fixing anything, there's this additional effect, and that is you've now denied the law of attraction event that just occurred to cause you to try to get into a some kind of causal co uh, situation. And as a result of that, there's a higher likelihood now of future events occurring that are more severe. And it, that can only be more severe because you denied the past event, which is an additional part of the cause. It's like, so what we finish up doing is here's a cause. So you could draw the cause as that big. That cause causes an event to occur, which has its effect on us emotionally. And let's say it's a pain-based effect at this point, right? Because these are the ones we avoid, the pain ones. So the law of attraction operates between the cause and effect, so the event is actually all about the law of attraction. And we have the pain-based effect, and then what we try to do is we try to rub out the effect. <laughs> you know, nobody saw that. <laughs> it never happened. So what's going to happen? We're, 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 the event still happened, but of course another event has got to happen. But what we don't realise when we rubbed out this event effect, let's put this pain-based effect here, is the pain from the effect adds another layer around of denial around the cause. So now the cause is larger. So what does a larger cause do? It creates a bigger event, which creates a more painful effect. And then what do we do with that? Try to rub all that out, make sure that didn't make out that didn't happen. And so what happens? That adds to the cause and creates a larger cause, which creates a, you get the idea? Larger event, 
adds to the event, which then adds to the pain, full effect. Now, why has God created it that way? There's a really simple answer. Liam, if we have the microphone over there, whoever's looking after the mics for us. So you, so you eventually see it. Exactly. So you eventually go, maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. <laughs> maybe I need to choose to do something else. Maybe I need to change my action. Maybe I need to d stop trying to fix the effect. That's why it's done. But, you know, unfortunately with the human race, we're quite desensitive and insensitive to effects, aren't we, even? Yep. So this is what often happens. I'll just get another pen because I've run out of colours. What, what colour do I need now? I really need a blue. So just, I've got a blue in here. So what has a tendency to happen now is that this gads back to the original. We get a bigger cause, which creates a big event, which is often cataclysmic in the sense that it terminates our physical life, right? Or cataclysmic in the sense that uh, it causes us to deny our life to such an extreme that we don't even remember our life. So this is why there's a higher and higher incidence now of things like Alzheimer's and things like that. Is because we just, as a human race, we've got a stronger and stronger and stronger tendency to try to avoid the painful effect. And the more we try to avoid the painful effect, the worse the condition becomes until we can't even remember what actually happened anymore. We don't even want to remember anymore what happened. And that's pretty sad, really, because at some point in the future, we're going to have to. So now we're going to have to go through the layers that have been added to each cause before we get down to the original cause that actually caused the original event. We have just made our life much, much more difficult. You see, this is something we don't generally understand. Every time we do not, we ad attempt to address the effect rather than the cause, we are making our life much more difficult. We think we're making it easier, but we're actually making it more difficult. 